Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Bassa, and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Ilkay Gundogan, as the Barcelona new signing have revealed the three teammates he is excited to play with. We are going to be discussing more on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Bernardo Silva, as the Manchester City superstar is reportedly willing to make an effort to join Barca after meeting his agent George Mendes. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca's new signing, Ilkay Gundogan, recently sat down for his first interview after joining the club. The former Borussia Dortmund star revealed how he had been a Barca fan since he was a kid. He particularly used to follow the Barcelona team that was led by Frank Rijka. It is a dream to be at Barca. I remember when I was a child and I saw Rijkaard and Pep's Barca. I'm a Barca fan. I've always followed it closely every season and I'm very happy and very proud to be part of this team, Gundogan said. The German international went on to reveal three players he is excited to work with at Barcelona, he said. Robert Lewandowski, Mark andre Ter Stegen and Pedri. Gundogan is, cl is quite close to Lewandowski and Ter Stegen. He shared the Dolmo dressing room with Lewandowski about a decade ago. Why Ter Stegen was, in fact, he's still his teammate at Germany. Gundogan added that Barca has a lot of potential to grow. He said, there is a lot of potential in that team. A very young squad and I hope with my experience to help young people and take them to the next level. He said. The base is there, potential is well, is there. We just have to show it next season, and that's why I've come. I'm very motivated, Gundogan said. When asked about what he will bring to this Barca team, the German pointed out his experience and skills in the middle of the park. He said, a lot of experience, but obviously also quality in midfield. It depends on where I play, what role I have, more defensive or offensive. I suppose I will be able to keep the ball and pass it, which is very important if you are at Barca. Finally, Gundogan revealed the role of Xavi in convincing him to join Barcelona this summer, as he said. I had a few talks with Xavi before I arrived. The way we think and our football when, we, when he played is quite similar. I'm sure there will be a great connection, he said. I have come to support and return this team to the top. Great words there from Ilkay Gundogan. Great words there, and I think he's a macho guy. Um, of course, from all what he said, you can see that he loved this transfer. Coming to Barca was what he has really been pushing for. And no doubt, when there were reports saying that Saudi Arabia was pushing, Arsenal was pushing to sign the player, he, despite their higher offers than what Barca brought to the table, Ilkay Gundogan still came to Barca. Which means, actually, it was real that he was really a dream. It was a dream for him to join Barca one day. And he never wanted that opportunity to pass him by. So be it. His dream has finally come true. Gondogan is, is sounding so excited in this interview. And I definitely think that Gondogan will help us a lot in the next season. We saw the likes of Gondogan last season at City. He was absolutely brilliant. Of course, Gondogan has always been a brilliant player. Especially towards the end of the season, most people have taken note that Gundogan comes and becomes a beast. He helps City at the most crucial parts of the season. Pep Guardiola just unleashes the man, especially towards the back end of every season. This is not the first time. We saw how last season he came and, you know, did magic, was the best player for City, to be honest, towards the end of the Premier League. Even the other season when they won one point ahead of Liverpool, he scored that winner against Aston Villa at the Etihad to make it 3-2, to make a comeback win and clinch the title. Gordon Gunn have always been that player and it is, it, is not, it is not new that he knows how to capitalise on a situation that matters. He is a man for the big occasion and I think Xavi has been excited and coincidentally, Gordon Gunn has been a Barca fan so I think that chemistry is there and I definitely think that he will make a lot of friends 
Of course, the fact that he's close to Ter Stegen is no surprise. They play for the German national team, close to Robert Lewandowski. No surprise. They all played for Dortmund some years back. And he spoke about Pedri, even though there was no explanation about that. But I think Pedri, for sure, they are all midfielders. And Pedri's intelligence is second to none. And I think Gundogan likes him a lot. It will be a great, great season for us, hopefully. Because from what we, I am seeing, manager Javi is really putting his efforts more on the midfield. Because Barca's midfield have not really been the best for many years. Because if Barca can dominate, if anything can dominate midfield... In Europe, then they are going to easily dominate football because the midfield is the heart. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Despite being a difficult operation to execute, City midfielder Bernardo Silva is once again linked with Barca. So much so that last Monday, Josh Mendes met with some leaders at Barca. And one of the names that was discussed was the Portuguese. Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo reports that Silva is really willing to make an effort to make a move for Barca. The player is even dreaming of dressing as a Barca player now that, that he knows it is possible. It must be noted that Barcelona have been hot on Bernardo Silva's try for almost three years. The player is, on his part is willing to try new things and even City will not stand on his way if the price is suitable. At the moment, Bernardo Silva is expecting Barca to make first move. He understands, unlike their previous attempts, the team from Catalonia was not able to do anything after they have signed some top players already. But at the same time, however, they must keep in mind that Silva also has other offers from Paris Saint-Germain as well as Saudi Arabia. Furthermore, the player, if agrees to move, will have to wait for City to sign replacement. This is mostly because the Portuguese is an undisputed starter for the citizens and they will have to get in a perfect replacement. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.